Hello, everyone. Mike Alderman here, co-founder of Path Training Partners, along with Bob Iacchino. So, weekly wrap-up for Tesla. Oops, sorry about that. Uh, key levels off the four-hour chart to watch for next week. 7.89 is the top of the rotation zone, bottom of the rotation zone coming in exactly at the 25% retracement, 7.56 area. So, those that's one of the areas we'll be watching. Uh, for the key support to the downside. I'm going to the daily chart now. So you can see another inside day from yesterday. The key support on the daily, first level is 771. And then major support down at the most recent swing low at about 685 area. So if it breaks below, especially if we break below the 720, we'll start watching for 685. Key resistance now it keeps getting above but rejecting close below about this 80850 level. If we get a close on a shorter term bar above that, we'll start watching for 826. If we get a close above 826, we'll start watching for the gap fill. Then we have uh, we have some minor clusters about 861 to 870, then major resistance up here about 896. So those are all the key levels on the daily. It is where we have the rotation zone on the four hour, the rotation zone on the daily, and switching over to the weekly, rotation on zone on the weekly, all up, and prices are holding above it. So that is in bullish mode, and there's no reversal signal yet. So it still remains in bullish mode. Now, key areas based off the weekly. If we break down below this weekly low inside bar, it's pretty hard to not have an inside bar based off the range of last week. But inside bar for this week, 735. So below 735, we'll start watching for those lower price targets I listed on the four hour and the daily. And above 820, 819.99, so 820, we'll start watching for the higher price targets I already listed. Remember, at some point, it's going to come reconnecting with the weekly rotation zone, whether it pauses, moves sideways, pauses and drops a little. So that's the key area. The weekly rotation zone is coming in right now about 610. So if we did have a bigger drop, 610 would be our first major target down. And then we'd start watching for about 567 area. Uh, below that, major, major support coming in all the way back at 475. You can see lower volume week. This is the lowest volume in the last five weeks. Uh, nearly a perfect doji on the weekly, too. We opened the week at 800. We closed the week at 799.97. So that's uh, pretty close to a perfect doji right there. You can see nice neutral pausing bar. So again, watch on a weekly basis for the trade above the high, bullish, trade below the low. We'll start watching for the bigger pullback. That's what we have for you, and we'll talk to everyone next week. Bye for now.